Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about my recent favorites. I have beauty, I have fashion, and I have some lifestyle products. I haven't filmed this video in a while, so I figured I would sit here and just chit chat with you guys for a bit. I'm really excited to show you guys all of these items. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for future videos. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. I want to start off with some beauty products. I recently discovered these liquid lipsticks. These are the Pixi by Petra Matte Liquid Lipsticks. And obviously, you guys know that I love my nudes. They sent over their nude collection, and I've been obsessed with them. The formula of these liquid lipsticks are very comfortable on the lips. They last a long time, they don't dry out your lips, and they don't like get crusty throughout the day. They're just really comfortable and I think that's why I wear them a lot. Also, the colors in the nude collection are everything i feel like there's a nude color for any skin tone so if you haven't tried these i highly recommend them they're available at target also on their website and i want to try more products from this brand because so far everything that i've tried by them i really love and can we talk about this packaging i love that it's different from like your typical like liquid lipstick packaging i really like the green and like the rose gold detail on the front i'm gonna list a few of my favorite colors in the description box below but if you haven't tried these you're sleeping on them because they're really, really good for drugstore products. ColourPop recently launched new lipsticks and I've been testing them out for a few weeks now and let me tell you guys, they are good. Like, they are really good and super affordable. The color that I've been wearing a lot lately is Layover and this is such a perfect, like, brownish nude shade. It's actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now. I do want to say that the formula of these lipsticks are probably one of my favorite formulas of lipsticks. They're very comfortable on the lips. They have sort of like a soft matte finish and they're very pigmented like let me tell you all you need is one layer to get that full coverage look on the lips and can we talk about the packaging i love the rose gold with the star imprinted on it i think it's so pretty and like girly and i'm like i'm here for this packaging so i really like these lipsticks if you haven't tried them i highly recommend them as well for the price you cannot go wrong Moving on to another product that I've been so obsessed with. I did a video for NARS on this foundation and let me tell you, it's been so hard to like try and use other foundations because this has just quickly become my go-to foundation. It's what I'm wearing right now and I've been wearing this since 10 in the morning and right now it's 6.37 at night and it still looks as beautiful as it did when I first put it on. This is a medium coverage foundation. I'm not going to go into details about it because I did film a video on it. If you have seen it i will link it here i'll like include a card so you guys can go watch it but this is such a beautiful natural looking foundation it has medium to full coverage but the thing i like about it is that it doesn't feel like a medium full coverage foundation it feels like you're barely wearing anything and the color is like my perfect match i feel like nars always nails it with like yellow undertones i feel like they just get it just for reference the shade that i use is stromboli and it's what i'm wearing right now and it's like my perfect match and here's a little tip whenever i'm trying a new foundation i always use it two days in a row just because i want to try it with different primers i feel like certain foundations perform differently with different primers if you don't wear primers girl then you can just skip that step but honestly it's good to try it out with different primers to see which one fits better the one that i've been using with this one is my Too faced cooling matte primer i I feel like that's my go-to it's like my number one favorite primer it works with like all of my favorite foundations okay we've been talking about that foundation too much let's move on to another product i have been using this so much lately and you probably recognize this from my vlogs this is the hyper real glow by mac it's a highlighter palette and they recently released two different ones and this is my favorite one because i feel like it has more of like golden undertone highlighters these are so creamy you guys like they just feel so soft on the skin they also blend like a dream as you can tell this one has a little dent right here because it's my go-to shade but i like mixing these two colors on the highest points of my cheekbones i'm not wearing this right now though i am wearing the amrezy highlighter which is so bomb i just started using it today so i don't have a lot to say about it but it looks really good um and then this shade right here i'll use like as a topper for my bronzer just to add a subtle glow 
to it. But anyways, this palette is really high quality. The formula of these powders are insane. Like they're so good. I highly recommend it. This is really good for traveling as well because you have some options to take with you. Thanks. So one of the things that I like to do here in LA is go hiking with my fiance. And whenever I go hiking, I sweat like a maniac. Like I, that's probably TMI, but I sweat a lot. And I don't like to wear a lot of makeup because I know I'm going to be sweating. I know the sun is going to be in my face. So I typically don't like wearing makeup when I go hiking. So I recently started using this First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Tinted Moisturizer. It has SPF 30 and it has a natural luminous finish. I really liked how this felt on my skin. It didn't feel heavy at all. It didn't feel like I was wearing makeup. It kind of just felt like I was wearing a nice moisturizer because it added a really nice subtle glow to my skin. It's not very full coverage at all. It has very sheer coverage, but it covered enough where I was like, okay, my skin looks good. Like I can go out like this. Like, don't get me wrong. I go out without makeup all the time, but it's also important for me to wear SPF, especially if I'm going to be out in the sun for a long time. So I like the fact that this has sheer coverage with high SPF and it has a little bit of a tint to it. And I use the shade medium and it is perfect for me. It looks so nice on my skin. Like I will definitely be using this again on like a no makeup, absolutely no makeup day. Even if you're not wearing makeup, I always recommend protecting your skin and wearing SPF. And that's why I really like this because you have SPF and you also have a little bit of a tint to your skin. So it looks nice and glowy. I'm going to take off my sweater because these lights are making me so hot. It's so funny because like earlier I was like dying because it's like 50 something degrees here in LA and I'm like, oh my God, it's freezing. And I'm like, what's wrong with me? I'm a New Yorker. I'm supposed to be like, you know, used to the cold weather. But I feel like once you're used to like, you know, average 80 degrees, when it gets down to like 60, you're like, oh my God, it's cold. I know, I know, I know. What should we mention next? Let's see. Oh, I think I'm going to mention this because I went to Sephora a few weeks ago and I was checking out and you know, they always get you with those little travel size products. And I saw this pillow spray and I was like, oh, this sounds interesting. So anyways, I ended up buying it. So I like to spray this on my pillow, maybe five to 10 minutes before I'm going to bed. And then I'll just lay there and I'm just like, wow, I feel really calm. Like it just calms my mind and gets me ready to go to bed. Not only that, but I feel like it kind of smells like a spa, like you're just getting ready to have a massage. And right before you know it, I'm falling asleep. Some days it's very easy for me to fall asleep because I've been working all day and I'm just like, okay, I'm so ready to go to bed. And then some days I just start thinking about how the world was created and what I'm gonna do 10 years from now. And like, I start thinking about a whole bunch of like random things. And before you know it, it's like four in the morning and I'm just like, damn, I still haven't fallen asleep. I'm definitely not saying that this is going to make you go to sleep faster, but it definitely calms my mind, which is something that I really like. I've been testing out so many new perfumes lately and this has to be like my number one favorite. Actually, this is the only thing that I'm wearing right now because it just, it's such a sophisticated scent, but it still kind of relates to me and my style and like my vibe. This is a Jo Malone Nectarine Blossom and Honey Cologne. This has the perfect balance between fruity and floral. It's not too strong. It's not too light. It's like right in between. It is, like I said, it's a very sophisticated scent, but I really like it. And it is very soft on the skin. It kind of warms up as soon as you put it on. I highly recommend you go and smell it. And then the last beauty product that I wanted to mention today is this SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. Let me tell you, this is life changing. I don't know where it has been like, hiding my entire life, but ever since I started using it, I'm like, I'm like, oh my God, like my life has been changed. So this is considered as the miracle water. It balances your skin, moisturizes, and also helps with texture. And let me tell you, it is life changing. It has definitely changed the texture of my skin and just how my makeup goes on. It is honestly like, mind blown. What I like to do is basically apply five to 10 drops on a cotton pad and then I'll apply it on my skin after I have washed my face. But I heard if you apply it with your fingertips, it is honestly so much better. So I'm going to start doing that and I'll let you guys know how it performs. But I mean, so far, 
My skin has been loving it. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I absolutely love running sneakers. I love fashionable ones. I love practical ones. I feel like this is in between. It's like very pretty, but it's also really comfortable and practical for like an everyday wear. I love wearing this with like jeans or like leggings, or if I'm just going out and about and I want to wear something comfortable, I will wear this. I love this color as well. I actually just washed it in the washing machine and look how clean they came out. Like they look brand new. I actually went hiking with them um, a few days ago and they were like dusty brown. Highly recommend you check these out and they're also on sale at a really good price. So I will link them in the description box below. I have been looking for a case this color forever and ever and ever. I know Apple has one, but it's like $50 and I'm just like, mm. <laughs> Jose actually found this one on Amazon. I will link it in the description box below. It is super high quality and the color it is just perfection. I'm like in love with it. So this is like my go-to everyday case. It's like really high quality and it's also very slim. So it fits in your pocket and your purse and oh, <laughs> I was listening to Leona Lewis when I was taking a shower. So um, yeah, that was the last song that I was playing. What was the last song that you were playing on your iPhone? Let me know in the comments below. But anyways, I've been obsessed with this one and um, highly recommend it if you've been looking for like a nice dusty pink iPhone case. This is Blogger 101 must have. It's an adapter so you can connect it to your phone and import your selfies or your outfit photos right into your phone and you don't have to wait to connect to Wi-Fi or to get home and import it into your computer and like have to do the whole process. It is just so much faster and you can delete the photos after you've imported them. This is just a must have, whether you're a blogger or you're just like taking, you know, your photos on your camera. It just comes in really handy. So I will link it in the description box below. I think I paid around $10 for it, maybe under $12. When it comes to my accessories, I really like to keep it simple and I like dainty stuff. I've been wearing this a lot on my YouTube and my Instagram photos and you guys always ask me where it's from. So I got this at Miranda Fry. I will link it in the description box below. The pendant I believe was $25. And if you use my coupon code Diana, you will get 10% off and the necklace is sold separately So you can pick whatever length you want. I always go with the shortest length because I like how it looks around my neck um, So again, I have a coupon code which is Diana. It will give you 10% off everything on the website They also have like my favorite hoops, which I've been wearing a lot here on YouTube I honestly have so many favorites from their website I will include some in the description box below, but that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy favorites and you want me to keep doing them, let me know in the comments below. And with that being said, I will see you all in the next one very soon. Bye. So yes, so, so basically, but yeah, but any, but <clears throat> as you can tell, okay, wait, hold on. It didn't, okay, you know, I should just mention it. Okay, let me start again. Um, sweater. Sweater? Oh, this is one of the... <clears throat> Whoa.